yeah, I'm never getting a job and fucking on a skate and make it happen. Yeah, where'd yeah. you get the nickname Slash? There's three cops at that door. Dodged them and went on like a chase for like two miles. Whoa. Thank you guys for tuning in. <laughs> <laughs> Howdy, y'all. Welcome to Secret Story Time. We're your hosts, Mattson, Case, and Elliot, and we're the co founders of Secret Company. Yeah, we're in. We're live. We're here. Right. Brian. This is your first pat podcast ever? Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Hell yeah. Sick. What More an honor. I just realized I've done one, but I forgot what it was called. It was like a skate one, but I was so fucked up so many times that I didn't know where I was. <laughs> a lot of things, whatever, but. Dang. You might have to talk a little bit closer into the mic. Okay. Thanks for coming, too, by the way. I appreciate you stopping by. That's f- I'm yeah. just, I, was, I, was, I was talking to people before I got here. I'm like, dude, I don't think they want me on this. <laughs> Why? 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 Think that? I don't know. I don't think of myself. I just like, I just think of myself as just like a human, but I guess any human's worthy of mm-hmm. being talked to and everyone has exactly. their own stories and yeah. views and values and stuff. Yeah. But I was just, exactly. we I just use this as a, like, a way to talk shop and we can talk about whatever the fuck we want. You know? Yeah. It doesn't yeah. really matter. But yeah, if, if you guys are trying to get a different, a wide range of contrast, like yeah. have you had any skateboarders on here? Um, no, we were talking back in the day because we were like shop neighbors when we were up in Costa Mesa with Jeff Rowley. Okay. I don't know how to pronounce it. And, uh, uh, Geoff. Geoff. And, uh, we were talking about that, but he's just all over the place, busy. You wouldn't under- be able to understand him anyway. Uh, my family's from <laughs> yeah. Liverpool. Oh, okay. We were cracking up. No, like, no, he's not that. World. He's not that. I mean, that of accent. You could understand him, but. That accent, though, like in Liverpool is fucked. I went yeah. with my dad because he was showing me around, uh, like his childhood and whatnot. And he seriously, they were speaking English, actual English words, but I did not understand a single say, thing. He would translate for me. Can you, can you give us an example? No, but we can look it up. No, you, come on. Tell us I know I can't. I can't even do an English uh, accent. Rally does 50% like, English. Rally does the street league announcing, so he can't. he's not that fucking hard to yeah, yeah. I yeah. was just joking around. He does a great job. Rally, yeah. Rally can talk your ear off. He's he's a oh here we go he's a smart yeah, he's dude. got stories yeah we got stories the Liverpool stories. accent coming up Liver Pudlin that's what they call it Liver fucking Pudlin shout out yeah. Jeff he's a good dude yeah you're the man hello and welcome to another episode that's not it, in our by the way. accent discovery series that's just basic ass English fine because he wants some scram yeah he's in a bad mood yeah see what I'm saying it's like Irish that's that's difficult Bifters. cigarettes. Every I'm word's like that. To buy some bifters. I'm just going to the yeah, office. Fuck? How fucking weird is that? And my dad's like, oh, she's just saying she wants a cigarette. And I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, These are in. different slangs, mm-hmm. words. I mean, uh, different, um, there's not pronunciation. Yeah, it's like, it, yeah, exactly. It's all like slang. So they don't, they don't use. Some of the words you so I guess technically there's another language. Could you hear that, by the way? Where is it in my headphones? It's in the headphones. Could you hear that? Yeah, it was coming no, out too, right? No, not really. Not loud enough for me to hear oh, it. Was just it. Just, uh, <laughs> headphones. Oh, I needed the headphones on. Uh, that was the time I needed yes. the headphones now we know. on. Yeah, I, I, just, so. I was curious, yeah. honestly. I didn't no, know. we're learning. We're yeah, learning. learning. Hey, um, yeah. all good. <laughs> I forgot where we were at with the Jeff thing, but... Oh, well, oh, oh skaters. We haven't had other skaters. Yeah, no. I wanted to get to the bottom of this, because you said that you found us through Nikki Lane, but I had... I no, I didn't say I found you. I okay. saw Nikki Lane's podcast. Gotcha. Oh, sick. I think... I started seeing the word Seeger on t-shirts and um, back of cars stickers, and I was like, damn, someone killed it with that fucking name. <laughs> that was fucking oh, yeah. into you. Yeah. Wow, the name stuck out to you. Like like you were saying, yeah. Ford, like pretty yeah. much. Yeah, Americana. As hell. So, and then started looking into it more, and fa- like there's some Instagram ads and stuff, whatever, and I was like, damn, they're doing, I don't want, or I can say whatever I want, right? Yeah, yeah, you can like, say whatever the fuck I you want. I just think it was like, a more Western, um, go in your own direction, doing your own thing, uh, uh, not to compare, but Brixton, but only keeping it Western in yeah. Yeah. style, yeah. whatever. Like, um, I love Brixton. I just grew up with those dudes, so I, yeah. I yeah. love love for them completely. But yeah. I kind of lean, like, like one of my favorite stores is Boot Barn, so fucking. Yeah, yeah. they got everything <laughs> there. Yeah. You, fucking, you oh, could yeah. say it anything, is. by the way, on this yeah, podcast. Yeah, no, I'm not. Absolutely. I'll say whatever. Yeah. yeah. Didn't know who offend you guys. No, we yeah. don't shy away from the fact that we were at least inspired by Brixton when we first started. And yeah, yeah, yeah they did a great I've, that's job. I've heard that before. Yeah, yeah, they've done a great job. Yeah, for yeah. sure. They're and so big that it's, it's different now, probably, right? You can't stop it. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. They, they definitely they had like a ad way back in the day that was with, uh, I think, Troy Elmo. Or whatever, yeah. And like it was a, a Mexican standoff of three dudes, and they're just basically showing different products 
in the ad, but it was like a Clint, Clint Eastwood style ad. And I was like, that is the coolest thing. I hope they keep going down this Western path. Yeah. But they didn't. And they like, <laughs> I was like, you guys blew an opportunity there. <laughs> and that's where we stepped in. They yeah. totally, w they totally would have wanted to. And I yeah. think they're, they still ta like dabble. I feel like in it, they make brimmed hats like, and whatnot. Yeah. But they're kind just of, so big. I, yeah. They're so big, big that it's like unstoppable at this point. You have I to agree. branch out cause it needs to, it's just flourishing, whatever. Yeah. But, um, saw some ads dude, and we're just like, okay, I like that. Yeah. It's fucking. <laughs> and then I've, I've looked at the website a bunch of times and I finally just reached out like you guys sponsor skaters or do anything like that and whatever. Cause I, I'm just looking for something to wear that I like, like actually want to wear. And like, yeah. I don't, um, and just, yeah, I just think you have a solid thing going. So Thank you. Appreciate cool, that man. for sure. Yeah. That's really nice to hear. Um, that is awesome. Are you, are you guys all surfers? Like, you yeah. Guys, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Is it like Patagonia where you guys can leave work and surf? Like, oh, yeah. 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 Well, that Definitely. book is amazing too. The Let My People Go Surfing. You ever yeah, read that yeah, book? Yeah. That's what I've, that's I've had some friends that work there or whatever. Yeah. yeah. That's a, gr I mean, they're another, like Matt was saying with Breakston with inspiration. That's another one in terms of work environment and ethics. They're, they're extreme in a good way of, of like making sure it's a good environment from what I've heard and seen. I obviously I don't work there, but, um, they're they're definitely a big inspiration. We try and do that here, where if the swell's good, like we're there, we're surfing. I mean, we start at ten every Has day. It been firing right now though, like yeah, yeah, it's yeah, been firing, firing, firing. Yeah, like yeah, it's been pretty sick. And we missed a lot of it because we were up in Montana at that festival, the Under the Big Sky. Oh, okay, I didn't so know we what... missed most of it. We came back. We were seeing videos on Instagram, and we're just like every time we leave. Seriously, it's almost like every yeah. time we go on a trip, we miss a swell every time. And. Us three all surf, but we have like other employees that like Justin who skates is a huge fan of yours and people who do like just different sports. So it's not really like all surfing. It's kind of just like everything here and there. Like, yeah, camping, totally. Surfing, skating. Yeah. yeah. All, all of it. All yeah. It's not just surf cowboys. No, I don't have any. Yeah. Like. It's not just that. I mean, we're at the end of the day, like the, the goal was to kind of combine the overall cultures of outdoors and Western and the action sports and just kind of let those types of people kind of integrate more and like dabble in both right like if you grew up bull riding and you're interested in surfing you know you're a badass you're a fucking badass yeah and honestly <laughs> like patagonia too speaking of which i think it's the malloys right i feel like and they're out of california it's another good example that i've seen i don't know them but you kind of look like one of the malloys what i've seen oh, oh yeah fuck you, <laughs> have, you have you heard of them no <laughs> I, can you pull up a photo which one I don't know. The one with the beard. Can you know. look at? I'm gonna say Keith. Yeah, Keith. The search? one with the beard. Keith Malloy. Can you search that? Shout I'm so out. Glad Keith. I didn't show up in my fucking. Because I, the way I, what I dress when I skate looks like I'm going for a run, pretty much. But I'm going for like, a run. Oh yeah, you fucking do look like this, this is guy. A, kinda, this is a compliment. But yeah, this guy's the man. No, the one. Well, with the second the, photo. Man. Like glacier fucking. Yeah, he's a. Yeah, look at that. A great surfer. The yeah, same hairstyle, look, beard, uh, and uh, maybe not the no, face as much. I but see it. Maybe well, it's just I want to be that guy when I he's grow sick. up. That dude's yeah, he's sick. Yeah, he's the man. I see it. You should definitely. Uh, that guy's the, a legend. He's yeah. a professional surfer, like cowboy guy. He's Cinematographer. Yeah. 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 California. I mean, California has roots in both. And um, and so we kind of want to just tap Black into that. one. The hat. As cliche as it is, we want to kind of just be like more rootsy. <laughs> I know that sounds cliche, but. Um, I, I just, we felt like there was kind of a need in at least the apparel world for something that felt authentic. And it for us, it, it, there's no way around that. It's literally just everyone you saw here. It's just us going on each trip, having fun, doing the, telling the same story, you know. It doesn't hurt to be going to Montana. No, I didn't know what you were, I thought blast. you were maybe shooting like catalog or doing something out there. But yeah, we did, we did that as well. Oh, well not a catalog, but we shot a little project. Campaign. Yeah. We were out there for 11 days and... I'm trying to go there. It's, it's sick. That's the most everywhere I've ever been in the world. Fucking Montana is Fuck yeah. the most beautiful oh, place. Yeah. So like I rode my bike cool. up there before, and it was like so every sick. blink's a photograph. Yeah, yeah. Right? That's, so how I, that's how I describe it. Yeah. Like yeah, Idaho, 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 Wyoming, and Montana. And, yeah, and that's pretty much over the border to Canada. I feel like is all Montana. One big yeah, it's Montana, one yeah. big Montana. Right? I haven't yeah. been to like Western. I've only been to Montreal when I was a kid. So I have family in Vermont. Weirdly. And drove up from there, but I want to see Western Canada. I heard it's insane. Oh yeah, the lakes are just, it's just the same as Montana, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Just like just different. Yeah, accent. it is pretty crazy when you're driving up from like say you're driving up from Southern California. It's like ugly freeway all the way up, and then you get to like the Idaho. It starts to get it is beautiful, but like Montana, once you get into the state line of Montana, you feel it. It's like 
you can't look any other way without it being absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Like it's just the whole state Holy. is just like yeah, it's insane. Nuts. It's unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. I guess the east. I've heard the east. I haven't been there. It's, it's, I think it's like Colorado where it goes a little more flat once you get kind of. Like I think it's the same mountain line if I'm not mistaken. Right. Yeah. It goes down Seriously. to Colorado. Right, the Rockies. It's the fucking Are Rockies, is what it Rockies. is, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I was just I'm, laughing at your hair flopping. Right it's there. so flappy. <laughs> I was Looking thinking really of fast. fucking. <laughs> I was thinking of cutting it. What do you think? Because I've been oh, toying with the even, idea, man. Would, Not like cutting would, it, cutting it, but like. I would, it, that, lengthen the, even, I would keep lengthening the handlebars and fucking just let it flop. Let it keep flopping like, around. I'm losing my hair, so fucking. Fuck yeah, it looks like, sick I get though. Zero fucks, but. Fuck yeah. Um, yeah, you're killing. Let me see the, let me see the like, flop. Let me see, like someone's like, I know you don't have a mullet, but it's just like. No, like, it looks like, like one. I have, a, it? I have a mullet. He fully right does. Take it off. Whip it out. He's going. Been wearing a hat all day, but. Oh yeah, like, you got a surf, full hat. You got a surf fucking San Clemente mullet. Yeah, I got to. Oh yeah. I just I don't even know what that is. I, I got to soul it. <laughs> it's Australia right there. I feel like they all have mullets over there, like bull cuts and shit. Wait, so I'm curious. Can you tell us a little bit about your story, like where you're from and how you came up and what what's? It's a good call. I'm. Um, I'm from Vista, California, okay. whatever, kind of like, like kind of like a little secret famous type area of like, let, like, um, what's his name? Fucking, oh, I can forget, it, forget his name all of a sudden. That's not good for this. Um, no, you're good. I'm trying oh, to think too. Hensley, Matt Hensley grew up skating there and like Danny Way. Sick. Um, are like legends that kind of, like you think of Danny Way more as like, Encinitas Carlsbad, but like he has yeah. roots in like Rainbow and like mm. Vista Rainbow and stuff. Sick. They're Vista specifically. And they're they're like not too much older than me, but old, way a lot older than me, kind of. And um, I was just like a kid that was just like, yeah, I'm never getting a job and fucking on a skate and make it happen, and kind of just still never had a job and fucking just skated, just skated, skated, yeah. skated, and kind of like came from the time where you like send video footage tapes in and stuff yeah. and. Um, Those days were sick. Yeah, I just grew up getting my mom taking me to skate spots and just never That's stopped awesome. and just kind of paved my own path through somehow everything kind of leading up. Maybe I'm jumping too far ahead. I don't know. Do you no, want you to can like, go wherever like, you want. I little, don't care. Do you want me to start at like Little League? Like, yeah, yeah, if you I want. Know, okay. where you want. Yeah. But I'm here because. Yeah, I'm the tangent king, so you can do whatever um, you want. Yeah, I'm a baseball player at heart, I guess. Fuck yeah. But, um, Damn, what position? Um, just give me the ball, but shortstop is. The oh guy, fuck yeah! Like, Do you ever want to play in like a slow pitch? We're in a slow pitch a baseball league. league. If you want to ever, so, oh, I'm celeb shot. If if I get that text, I, oh, everything fuck else yeah. in my life doesn't matter. Oh, Whoa. game on! He's the coach, wow. bro. You're talking to the right guy. Like, We're I'm, like I'm, I'm top of the heart. lead right now. There's, what you guys We're are? We're first place, I think, right now. If I'm not yeah. mistaken, we just beat the best team last There's night. Mercy what do you guys us. play? This field around here? Yeah, right there. Man, your whole life's just a mile. It's the best. I know. I love it up here. I love it up here. Uh, yeah, I played with fucking a bunch of like pro skaters up in LA, but they're playing hardball with girls. Oh, whoa. What? Like, what? Savages, Damn. right? Damn. That's fucked and up. I'm like, like full you know, blown baseball. Game, like, I know how to aim. I know how to aim where I want to hit or whatever, yeah. but like. Someone's just getting like, rocked. I would not put any girl besides on. No, of course, girls are all equal yeah. and stuff. Yeah. But, like, that's... I wouldn't put anywhere in, a girl in infield besides first base at that. Yeah. So yeah. fucking dangerous. Yeah, that's so but, fucking like, dangerous. Um, Not really. Like, yeah, the, you know that artist Neck Face? You heard of Neck Face? Yeah. No, I don't, but can you look that up? I just want a visual while you keep talking. Oh, you might have seen his art, but just like him and a bunch of like rad pro skaters just and yeah. like photographers uh -oh. and people around skateboarding He's um, the... put on this. They're not even putting it on. They just bring their own bases and fucking we just go at it and everyone's just like that's drinking cool. and Currently, you guys are doing that. Yeah. Oh, that's but, I, it, but it's like random. It's not like a set date. Like, I just get the text and then it's everything like pick out ball. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. That's, well, that's cool to so, know that you're that you're close by. You're in Vista, so that means yeah. if we need an extra guy, because our season's already in, but sometimes our players fall out. So if we text you, you might come up oh. and play. Yeah, fuck Especially yeah. Being, I'll do any. I make <laughs> all excuses to be in San Clemente all the time. Fuck I yeah. Love, Easy. I, I love the skate park. Yeah. And just love the city where I'm. I'll come up here just to run my run with my dog on the beach. Yeah, just for like, sure. That's cool. I'm from here for an hour. <laughs> yeah. Um, Amazing. Um, that's cool. Yeah, this city's the shit. Hell yeah. Um, Love that. Okay. Um, I, I don't know if this is fast forwarding too much, but wait. at what point? What? One more Padres question. Baseball question. Are you a Padres fan? <laughs> oh. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm. I'm yeah, I'm a <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to say yes. No, but yeah. I don't follow any team. Like yeah. I watch any sport. I root for whoever has the ball. Okay. Fuck yeah. And right. I don't. I don't really. I know it sounds weird, but I don't really believe in. You never like, get heartbroken. Like I'm not like. 
when if I played with you guys, you you would understand that like I'm still clapping for the other team's good plays, and yeah. I just want to see good things happen. You're just just kind of like in skating, like you don't ever want someone not to make their trick. So I'm not like booing in my head. Yeah, you know, I feel that. And that's how I kind of like. That's cool. My life where it's just like I like just like seeing good things happen, but there's enough people around me that are like hoping someone literally dies because they have fucking a hundred bucks on the game or yeah. whatever. Like, so that's gnarly. fucked up. Yeah, it's fucked up. Oh, that's fucking too much for me. Like, yeah, that's I just, heavy. Like, I don't believe in winning or losing if you're having a good time, really. Amen. Yeah, yeah. I feel yeah. that. Sorry for taking that from me. Oh, no, it's okay. It's okay. I was just going to, and again, I don't know if I'm jumping too far in your life story, but obviously I know about you riding for Death Wish. Yeah. And I'm just curious, like, at what point in your life that happened, and I just want to hear the background story of all that. I was on um, how I got on and got off mm-hmm. type situation. Yeah. Um, and the in-between. Um, yeah, fucking best thing ever happened to me, for sure. Like, Or one of the best things, just honor to skate with, like, people that used to have their shoes and on in middle yeah. school, whatever. But I was, I went on, like, this... Have you heard of America? You've heard of America's yeah. Shoes, right? Yeah. They had, like, this tour called The Wild Ride, where you ride... A bunch of people ride motorcycles and... And they fucking Sick. around the states or whatever. And I went on a wild ride. I was skating for, I don't know who I was skating for at that time. But I remember like being at one of the hotels and Reynolds comes walking down the hallway and he's like, hey, you want to fucking skate for this brand? We don't even have a name yet or whatever. And I was like, <laughs> like fucking. <laughs> and, and then my, it, that evolved into like the name being Death Wish or whatever. And me being a part of that, of, like the beginning team. Is that Death Wish? Because like everybody who skated there metaphorically had a death wish because they were doing like gnarly stuff or what it's i almost used a bad example but no um it's just like the shock factor of a name and like what yeah like yeah so it had like nothing helped. to do with the type of like skater. i remember like my mom didn't want me to have like a thrasher sticker before because it's she's just like thrash her or something yeah. just like it's like Depressive. the vulgarity of the name of something yeah that, like your mom doesn't want you to have type like what mom wants death wish like, yeah let's give this yeah. kid the death wish sweater for <laughs> yeah i know for sixth grade. so it was like let's yeah. be gnarly yeah, yeah, it's just yeah. like the shock factor, but you know, it's a it's a string of movies, right? No, I didn't. Yeah, know that. Charles Bronson, mm-hmm. I think his name is, but actually, I like research even farther. I don't even know if they realize it. So it's like a string of movies called the Death Death Wish, but like those movies are named after like some like I might be wrong. I, we can I look it up. Like you might have to like not edit this out. Death Wish wrong, movies. But, like it might be some like rapist on the Whoa. on the subway in New York, like what? way before what? the movies. Gnarly. Um, you might. Oh, have so it's based it. on I mean, true story. I mean, nothing, nothing that, like that good is gonna come from Death, Death Wish saying, ahead of time. Yeah. Like, cause I went like, if you, I don't know. I'm really interested in like the etymology and like story of how things led to yeah. led to things, whatever. Yeah. Whatever. And that. people forget like you see one thing at face value and you think that's just what it was but yeah. it really stems so much farther back yeah um who is that guy I i've walking. never heard of that guy <laughs> the <laughs> actor no the main actor <laughs> he's just like a french looking man so, like, yeah, who is this thing guy? A movie's called the Del death wish and that's where they got the name but like every skate company the the zeros fuck? zeros off the shirt from toy machine yeah. i mean no from uh toy that's story gotcha you know what i mean yeah um that's a wig by the way what that's a wig i think i'm just gonna say that right now it looks like i need a Right? Yeah, it's a Wade. No, I think he had one luscious locks back then. Like, I don't know. Look at his Maybe face. A, I feel like he has a face of a um, can guy wears a wig. I should have kept that uh, to myself. Logo. <laughs> now it's out there. Oh, fuck. What is this now? Is that the same guy? Yeah, man. That's what not, a life. That's not a wig. He's just a legend. He definitely looks like a legend. I'm not trying to discredit him. I'm a, <laughs> what, what was it? His name's Charles Bronson, right? Am I getting it right? Yeah, yeah, yeah Charles, Bronson. Charles Bronson. Okay, that's not a wig. But the other one might be, so. <laughs> okay, so, so you joined Death Wish. Yeah, I joined Death Wish. Went on just an amazing run of trips, and like it's kind of like a like if you know about piss drunks, it's just like I'm just all about like I've always wanted to be a, Baker's like the coolest brand ever. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. Like Baker Block logos, this cool like yeah, they're so like, sick. Like they, I'd be on Death Wish, but like do anything I could to be skating a Baker board at all times to the point where they finally made me a Death Wish board. That said slash in the Baker Baker block font because oh, it was like they couldn't get me to even or they could get me to skate. I love like the Death Wish logo and every single board graphic, all the all the art and stuff like. Um, but um, but yeah, it looks like you did a Clint Eastwood one. Is that what I saw on the left there? Can you go back? Yeah, where'd yeah. you get the nickname Slash? That yellow way? one. 
Uh, I used to have like Good. long, like someone just gave oh. me that nickname. Wow. Like I used to have like long black hair and kind of like pretty much skin tight pants. Yeah. Kinda, I obviously didn't look nothing like the dude. <laughs> yeah. Like, what, yeah. Whatsoever. But, yeah. Um, Great guitar, so. So it was named after the guitar, so it wasn't. Yeah, but okay. then it kind of morphed into like sometimes I would like fib like no, it's because I I'm a, I slash on my board because I was just like I don't look like this fucking dude. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, just, just kind of stuck, it. stuck, and I probably kind of manifested wanting to have like some sort of like how cool it was to have like uh like a nickname as yeah. like a skater. For sure, I was probably like a, like yes, fucking I'll just run with this. Yeah. Fucking, but like looking back on it now, like no, no one calls me or like. Some people still call me that, and but I can tell like the sound of someone's voice, whether I know them or not, where it kind of just goes in one ear. But yeah, like it doesn't. It, it's hilarious, but like it's 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 forever now. But like it's at some points in my life, I was kind of like embarrassed by it a little bit. Yeah, because like, I'm like I feel that. Um, but now I'm just like comfortable with anything yeah. in life whatsoever. So that's yeah. good. That's rad. Because when you put together like Death Wish and Slash and it's just like it's just like punk, you just throw just blood on like, me at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well. Was that your attitude though back then, or um, is that why all that just like aligned that way? Well, just I, I, I used to have like long hair, and I thought I was gonna be a rock star forever. Just like skating that type of lifestyle just yeah. goes hand in hand. Just like drinking, smoking weed, whatever. I'm not like a gnarly drinker. I never lose my composure. Don't black out ever, type person. But like, um. Yeah, that type of lifestyle just goes hand in hand with skating. Like you think you're just like a, a like a rock star. Or I don't yeah. think I never thought of myself as a rock star. That's just an analogy or yeah. sure. whatever. But um, it's just a fast paced world. You know what I mean? Like skating, just like is like the most. I feel like a lot of like the the weather of like fashion in the world comes from skating. For like sure. you know what I mean? Like the kind of like chooses the weather in a sense in some in some yeah sort of way um but uh, i lost my train of thought but yeah just yeah skating is just a f fast world and it's just like you think you're just going to be like 17 18 forever yeah. you know what i mean and yeah. like i i'll never i've always i never i still don't think of myself as an adult i just think of myself as like a kid trying to act like an adult yeah, yeah. i think that's a healthy time. way of doing it though yeah yeah like someone's yeah I'll, i don't think i'll ever grow up or like i'll still say things like i hope i look like that person when i grow up <laughs> yeah and like i hope i want to be like sure. that guy when i grow up it would be someone younger than me I'm still, <laughs> i want to be, be like that guy yeah. when i grow up and they're younger than me i feel that but other than the fact that like skating physically damages your body like you like break bones and are getting like ripped up when you skate it, yeah it's not a very buddhism fucking type of fucking <laughs> no. way of like you have to really like to if, if getting landing a trick wasn't like i use the metaphor like i've never done heroin but like a heroin type of feeling or whatever that's the only thing that you're getting from it whatever but like literally like making like a lot of people can do stuff say you can do stuff first try and obviously that was the best possible way on <laughs> Geezer snoring that's, down there. That's awesome. <laughs> she, she farted a couple times. Oh, actually. really? Yeah, because her butt's oh, right on me. I like, smelt that full shoe. Sure. Sure. I did that. not. I thought that was you. Did you? Yeah. Why did me? I don't. Because you're right next to me. <laughs> wow. I'm sorry. No, no. Don't be sorry. It's hilarious. awesome. That's hilarious. That's the first dog fart. It's been in this a while room. since I had a dog fart. Yeah. <laughs> that might be the first recorded <laughs> dog fart. That's awesome. That's no, so actually, funny. it was me, and I just blamed it on my dog. That's the only reason to have a dog. I right? know. So you can fart yeah, it exactly. Uncontrollable <laughs> farts. <laughs> That's why everyone gets dogs. What was saying, though? Oh, I don't, I don't even know. remember. Yeah, I don't know either. I have no idea. Geezer <laughs> <laughs> came in. Well, uh, I cut you off on your life story and just jumped right to Death Wish. So. Yeah. You could take it from there. Yeah. Um, Sounds like you played baseball for a while. Uh, yeah, I, pl I played little. Le I obviously played little league, but I was always on like two teams at once. I was on like a travel team. Yeah, we we'd play like tournaments around the states, and there's like different versions of like the little league World Series. But we played one in like Cooperstown, New York. Sick. And when I was like, whatever age, probably like 14, and I played a little bit of high school ball. But yeah, I just I love anything with a ball, like any even, sport, like anything with a ball. Like I'm down. I'm love aiming. I I say like I that's just awesome. Like, that's why skating like is so perfect because you're just basically trying to aim connect your mind with your feet and aim yeah. the board to do it and feel a certain way oh we were talking about um damaging uh, your body damaging your body oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Like the feeling of obviously it's awesome to like land your shit first try but like to me it's like the process like 
like of course I want to get it as quick as possible but like it's all about this landing a certain way and a certain feeling in yourself or whatever doing it and like getting a trick on footage and and stuff like that is like the most amazing feeling ever so I forgot why I'm that's awesome that, but no that's cool I cannot I mean it Chase and I skated a little bit yeah. back in the day. Yeah, we quit skating for sports. Yeah, I know. It was hard it was to do bad, both. I mean, it's move. like, it's yeah, it's gnarly on your body, for sure. I just kept getting hurt. Yeah, how, uh, how you know. people have that story. Just yeah. Like, I can't fucking do it. I remember being in, like, the principal's office, like, what are you going to do with your life? Or whatever. And I'm just like, not what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> like, pretty That's much. awesome. But um, That's a good outlook, though. Yeah. Do, do I it just your was own never, I, I don't think of myself as, like, anywhere close to like it you can't be you can't compare yourself to anyone else that's when you start getting in trouble but like i when i think about when i used to compare myself to just like oh i'm not as good as anyone but i'm just gonna do it my own way yeah and and, um just kind of like yeah i just kind of just never wanted to do anything else like um and just skateboarding was just like light forever for me and then um i was just like we have, to, we have to get into like you want me to go like into how i got off death wish is that what yeah yeah sure. go for yeah. it yeah. love to hear like, that yeah you might have to scoot forward a little bit no for the for the <laughs> <not the show. laughs> i will no. not um yeah so death wish is the most amazing company most amazing group of guys and just nothing bad to say about them like i i was the like my i was my own biggest problem or whatever with the sense of like i kind of like broke up with a girl and kind of just let that like take over my whole mind and kind of like got into like a real dark depressive like state to be honest like partying and, or um oh now that i'm completely sober i realized like you could i like i really liked cocaine like i, I don't know if you guys probably aren't going to say that you <laughs> but those we mustaches all. say different those mustaches say different I don't know I know right these are straight <laughs> 80s coke mustaches well just say, you might as well just be like COAC I know <laughs> we look like we're straight out of Miami Vice right now honestly Sorry, Except this like, hillbilly we picked gotta, up on the way in you gotta you just admit no one's gonna I don't know I'm kidding far. no one even uh, responded to that yeah, no, yeah you guys just, well, I'll just stare at you like uh, <laughs> yeah, you know I'll say very I, nice I've never very once done cocaine I, Ever. being sober i finally realized that like i was never really addicted to anything i was just addicted to numbing myself really but like mm. so i kind of just let like breaking up with a girl and like it was my own problem problem that we even broke up but like it was someone i thought I was gonna be with for the rest of my life whatever same sad story whatever but and i kind of was just like oh i'm done i let every I wouldn't answer the, I didn't answer the phone for like a year and just like went dark, real dark or whatever. And kind of just like, I own a sock company and wouldn't even get, when was this probably two years ago Okay, or so. And, um, I just went real dark where no one, like, I thought I was like just sinking into oblivion. Just like, I'm not going to talk to anyone I know, like went way too dark, but so like losing that chick, whatever, just like. I was probably already falling off, like being a part of Death Wish before that. Like, it, I deserved to get kicked off, but like, um, they probably could have done it in a little bit better, nicer of a way. Cause I feel like the guy that orders the wax, like, I called in to get boards, and like, the guy that orders the wax is like, no, you're done. And I was just, I just started oh, laughing. Random. I just started laughing my ass off. Yeah. Just, I was like, <laughs> no, like, way. I just get, I get like my last 10 boards so I can have something to skate. And that's then, how you find out is the wax. Yeah. I didn't get any, like, but I, I don't it's not like i deserve a call from the other bosses like i wasn't in a state of mind to even comprehend and well and you were ignoring calls at that time or no 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 this okay. this is way okay, after okay. way after that like I, um it was just i was just ruined i was just burning bridges left and right with just like i couldn't be present in myself and like be a genuine person or be like nothing against anyone that i don't know the co- i feel like cocaine really numbs you out if you like because i was doing it like every single day and just like still i can still skate on it and stuff but like you can't really fully be there for anyone in your life if you're doing it that much of a doing it that much or whatever and i didn't want to be there for anyone because i known i felt like no one was going to be there for me and just like Mm. looking at the world the wrong way and just um i know all i know all the like how to not, not i don't know how to live but like i see the world as such a beautiful place that like i and i knew 
I knew how I wanted to be and just was like, oh, I'll never get to that point. And just like everything just started crumbling for me a little bit. But mm -hmm. I, I did it all to myself. I have no like um, I don't have any regrets or I fuck living with regrets. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. It's like mm -hmm. um, good on you. I'm only going to look out forward. Of it too. Yeah. Um, yeah. What was your turning point? To like, it seems um, like you're doing well now, and like you're sober, and yeah, you know, mindset like, shift. Yeah. Um, yeah, definitely um, having like a family member in the hospital, and then kind of putting into perspective, like if um, I kind of like um, hadn't been in touch with my dad for like 10, 12 years, and um, putting like fin getting a text or whatever, and I was still like kind of partying or like. <coughs> on drugs um like wasn't even looking at my phone and then read a, read a text like two days later that you like your dad might not make it or something and like Damn. putting that in perspective of some and how that made me feel if like it was someone like in my family that I was actually close to and couldn't be there for them or like wasn't like months away from like doing like smoking weed or drinking or doing any drugs that like that would just that'll just almost ruin you for the rest of your life when you have that type of like pain or agony that you I don't know like if it was my mom or something I wouldn't be able to live with myself you know what sure. I mean and that kind of like of all things like snapped me out of it like I've been to went to rehab for like 30 days some like bougie one in like Malibu and like yeah if my mom hears this she's not gonna like the like I got cocaine the first day out of fucking rehab because that's that I feel like that's just like a sham yeah like a I have scam. heard that that's a common thing it's happen, kind of like right you have to well, obviously, we all heard you have to want it for yourself type thing, whatever, yeah. and I just wasn't ready. Did that. someone, like, put you into it, meaning, like, help find it and say, like, hey, can you go to this? Or was it you going to it? Oh, that's a pretty jack story. But, like, um, I was, like, if so many people thought I was just going to kill myself for, like, probably over a year, like, whatever, like, oh, this guy's definitely going to do it fucking for sure. But um, so, like, my mom was doing, like, a getting a welfare check on me. This isn't going to be the best episode. Which, um, That's probably, fine. But, uh, yeah. I'm, I appreciate I'm, uh, you sharing yeah. this kind of stuff. Um, she was doing like a welfare check on me and fucking the cops were showing up to my house and I just popped over like six fences and got away from them and whatever, got an Uber fucking in some bushes and got out of there and then fucking went and got like cocaine and fucking went to a bar and someone I know told my, that was connected with my mom, told my mom was at this bar and fucking the cops come in to the front of the bar like three cops and then i'm like oh shit and i go to like the back door open that door there's three cops at that door dodged them and went on like a chase for like two miles whoa damn fucking on foot but i had like a i had cocaine in my pocket whatever so i'm running away to like ditch the bag damn. type situation yeah, yeah you're running on pretty. foot yeah wow. and fucking goddamn justin fucking boots you know what i mean yeah. like, uh, <laughs> the hardest thing to run in of all said it was like the fastest they, the fastest human they've ever seen in their life like Holy a gazelle crap. but um the, so they finally like caught me after i ditched the bags whatever um yeah not the most glorious story um but no it all led to me to where i am now kind of yeah but, um so so they finally caught me and they like put me in a car and then they had to like transfer me to another car and I tried to break away from that situation and run. Yeah. And in that process, I fucking like when they were slamming me down on the ground, I must have hit my head on like some metal object on their buckle or like oh, when they had geez. their guns right. out or something or I don't know if I got hit by them or I hit something on their thing and I got like the gnarliest like scar from like my eye all the way to like the top of my head Whoa. i don't know if you can see like, oh yeah i can yeah. see a little there yeah it's got it healed all right but fuck so Sounds instead like of going straight from jail from right there i went to the hospital and got like 90 like staples from my eye over holy shit and then Did they when i was hit you but like all of a sudden i'm going to jail from a welfare check because i was running from the police whatever like it was just seemed yeah, like that, so outlandish for that like someone that's sense. like mentally like unstable at the time and i was just like mom please any situation like mom can you please get me out of jail like, yeah. i don't want to be in here yeah she's like oh i'll get you out if you go to rehab i'm all done yeah and they know i'm not the type of person that would go to that so yeah like, that's how i got to the point where i'm like wasn't ready until it was probably like six seven months later that the, this that like i probably did like another year of just like kind of like messing around with the drugs and and stuff until something happened with my dad and um that it just, it. yeah it kind of snapped me out of it and that's 
that was probably like six, seven months ago, or whatever. And and yeah, like I hadn't gone to LA in like two years, and I've been up in LA the last like four or five months, or whatever, just like doing my thing. And so many positive like things have like happened just in such a short amount of time. Just like because like I'm I'm natural. Like the highest you can possibly be in my mind is just on nothing, whatever. Yeah. And that's I'm basically naturally. Like, I don't know you guys, so, like, you yeah. don't know my, like, demeanor all the time, yeah. but yeah. I'm pretty much naturally on cocaine, like, mm. most of the time. Like, Energizer like, Yeah, I'm just, like, sparked. And everyone has their ups and downs and moods, and I'm really trying to, like, balance mm -hmm. my mindset out right now to, like... That's cool. Just fully be a happy person and just a kind person to, to just... I want my legacy to be, like, spreading kindness. Like, I don't care about dollars and, and stuff, but I just want to, like make people feel good that i'm around and like that's how i've always wanted to be and strive to be so that's awesome yeah, that's a great message yeah um, mm -hmm. yeah awesome. so that was like obviously i was just rambling all over from but um wild i mean that's that's <laughs> wild dude <laughs> fuck yeah i mean honestly oh. fuck that is a wild life but it sounds like you've you've gone through the ringer and you've come out we, like, yeah, we skipped so, over so many valleys. Yeah, I and, imagine. And we can get back to little pieces, but um, that was really cool. Yeah, here. like that is at now. What brought you here? Literally here, which is awesome. Yeah, yeah, true. That's how we got so sped along, or whatever. But yeah. like, or since you brought up Death Wish, that's what I couldn't not get to where we were talking right there. For I'm sure. Not gonna st I'm. It's too big of a like, moment we to don't, skip. I don't know anyone at this company. We, yeah. This is our first time meeting. Yeah. So like, um. I was ready to just just say whatever I, I'll say whatever I want wherever yeah. I am at all Fuck times, yeah. and I only mean, like, only want to tell the truth and just For sure. be honest. That's how it should be. Yeah, because I, I don't want, I don't leave anything like untouched pretty much. <laughs> Damn. Well, good on you. Yeah, yeah. good on you. It's awesome. So <laughs> it, I can't take you serious sometimes because you have like a straight face and you don't move. You. <laughs> <laughs> and I think like. Oh. This is awesome. I love the little I roast. One spray of acid, and I think it's kind of like kicking in a little bit. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. The darkest story ever. I know, right? Um, Wait, what, it. Is, what does he do? I gotta see this. He keeps his head straight. I don't even head. know. No, That's like hilarious. That is really fucking funny, honestly. And, and no, like and what, you said he did some acid. A couple times, like I was saying something no, super did. serious, and he like. He was still smiling. I'm just like, you shouldn't be smiling. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> saying all this shit, dude. Where's and your I'm, human emotions, bro? You can kidding. punch him if you want. Yeah, no, that's no, hilarious. No. no. Um, <laughs> wow, that. What did you? What am I? What do I want to do? Have like frown and start crying? Yeah, right. No, no, I don't know. No, that no, was I'm not super nothing deep and dark, and I appreciate it. Yeah. Um, but wait, why are you smiling? So? <laughs> you just, wait, I just want to point out. You said that I I had a straight face. And I wasn't moving. No, no, I think it was a straight like your head. It's straight, but you're like, sometimes you're like smiling or smirking, and I'm just like, you shouldn't be smiling or smirking. <laughs> during this, uh, 100%. No, but you're I can't come home however so someone else is like. That's fun. He doesn't uh, know how to read social cues. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You do. Smile. That's fun. He does. He's a smiley guy. He wants, look at him. He can't even stop. He's a smiley guy. We had, a, we had da do you know uh, Dan Gadaskis? No. You know who that is? He surfs. Um, he's from San Clemente too, but he is the most smiley human being I love, I on love this planet. Him. You would actually love him, honestly. You should look him up. But in terms of case smiling right now, <laughs> if you would have said that same story to Dane, he probably would have smiled so aggressively at you. But you would have like loved it's it. Like <laughs> that Seinfeld, I forgot what Seinfeld, like Elaine like laughs at the wrong stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's exactly that. She, or she, yeah. Did you say uh, you took a little bit of acid before this? Yeah. Uh, I was, right when you said that, I looked over here, and your face is like half green, half yellow, and like your face is different colors, and I'm like, it must be kind of <laughs> trippy if you're on acid. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I like going dilute it with, um, I dilute it with like a little bit of like alcohol or whatever, uh -huh. and it's just like a spray. And yeah. Like, I, if I, and sometimes I get like, I was diluting it with like water before, and realized that the water like evaporates and sometimes it would be like oh since it's concentrated yeah I'm just like, uh, well, already. I gotta use something fucking yeah. that's not gonna go away <laughs> yeah what do you but mean by um, a spray you, like spray it in your I body. get like a vial I buy like 10-15 hits at a time and then it's like liquid clear liquid uh -huh. tasteless type thing and then I add something to it to like make it go longer dilute yeah, yeah. or go longer or no just oh dilute it so it has yeah, more so I have, yeah and I'll just yeah. like you kind of like microdose it yeah yeah okay 
Yeah. And then, you, wait, you mean by spray as in, like, you, like, just open your mouth and you go... Yeah, like a straight-up banaca style or whatever, but... What was that word? Banaca? I think that was some old, like, minty fucking mm. spray oh, thing. Like but, oh, like, you know, before they had those little weird strips. Yeah. They dissolve yeah, in your fucking yeah, mouth. Yeah, I guess that's banaca. I'm talking about, like, the ice sprays. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, those yeah. old movies. Banaka. I like um, that. So I'm, not, you're, I'm not smiling anymore. This <laughs> yeah, no. No, you naturally, <laughs> naturally look like you're Be talking yourself, shit dude. about me in your head. That's hilarious. That's just my own fucking mental problem. I'm just kidding. You were saying before, <laughs> too, that um, <laughs> that you're riding up in Montana. Do you do uh, trips like that a bunch where you'll just kind of go no, in a cruiser? I, um, I love riding motorcycles, but I haven't been riding a bunch lately. I just like looking like I do. Whatever. Uh, like, no, it's got but, a green um, screen behind you, and you just. Uh, <laughs> uh, I yeah, I've I've only been on one trip up there on my bike, whatever with like uh, that shoe company Fallen. Uh, oh yeah, uh, yeah, skateboard yeah. I remember company that Jamie Thomas owned whatever, and and skating and riding a bike is horrible. <laughs> like, because there'd be there'd be like a van. No, I won't go into like something negative. It, yeah. it was like the best trip ever. Yeah. Like, but it's it was difficult for me to like get off or try to sweat, s- skate a spot, and then sweaty get on a bike with the wind chill. Yeah, like, yeah it sounds, sounds not gnarly. Really. That's it's that. not fucking like working twenty four seven. Yeah, it, it was it was, but I don't look at the trip like that was hard. I would just like I don't know why I went into like that, but yeah. it was most That's amazing cool, trip ever. I remember riding like along like the snake river and we, we since we were on a trip where you're never looking at the news but we rode straight into like a forest fire oh, and geez. we're burning redwoods were on both sides of us for like three hours and Heavy. like it was fucking like some of the most mental photos whatever yeah. i've ever seen oh my like, god I can did we like, find those photos yeah. are they online anywhere no Who no it was like it was such a rare like experience because like we were Somehow we held back at a hotel at a hotel, and then the van and some other bikes went and took some faster route. And like Jamie Thomas wanted to like do something, I forget exactly what it was. Mm-hmm. So it was just me and Jamie leaving at like three thirty in the morning. Damn. Um, have you heard of Jamie Thomas? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. For sure. Um, so it was me and Jamie leaving super early in the morning to go to catch up with them. But like, say they went, they went this route and we were going like this route. So we had to go super fast. So we had to leave three 30 to like catch up in time or whatever. But, um, uh, yeah. So was I talking about the fire? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it was just like, I was so cold that my hands were like frozen to the bike in that Jeez. morning. Cause we were right. Like, and I remember pulling over telling Jamie, I'm like, dude, I think not like a girls are weak or something. But at that moment I said something like, I think I was supposed to be born a girl because <laughs> I am a. Bi- I, I right. couldn't almost couldn't go forward anymore because like I I wasn't pr- I didn't have the right gear for the whole trip. I was just like, oh, I want to look cool. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like now I want I'd fucking just Patagonia yeah. triple it up. Like, <laughs> yeah. Really. like yeah, I just I feel that. But um, yeah, I just remember riding through like a forest fire for like three hours, and then somehow Jamie like snapped a bolt on the on his back wheel or whatever and we're stuck in the fire oh jeez I, I was dangerous. like this cannot get any work with no yeah. reception yeah oh, that's and so then fun. he yeah. fucking he hops on my bike he hops on my bike and fucking um goes to the, finds the first house and meets some guy like at a cabin happens to ride bikes and he comes and saves us and like wow what are the odds uh, yeah, and like lucky. I remember t- telling the guy like how cold I was and the dude had like was missing like one finger and he gave me some gloves missing one finger i remember That's riding hilarious. back hilarious riding back from um montana with a glove with a, my finger just nubbed in one of the <laughs> looking back on no it all way. i had to do was cut the thing i know to put my finger That's through, but so I just funny nubbed, i just nubbed it like, this the is home. the glove like <laughs> uh, i mean you would have had one cold finger though they probably yeah, sell see, those in oh, yeah. florida yeah smart yeah, yeah. you're smart <laughs> you're smart oh. <laughs> all those alligator accidents in florida they probably sell those down there this might be a uh, random worries, one, bro. but do you know Leo Romero? Yeah. Okay. Are you guys boys or yeah? Or? Yeah, he was on those. That's I kind of huge fan of Leo. Obviously, amazing dude, all around awesome human. But he was on those wild rides with with, uh, or I was on those wild rides with him because he skated for America. But gotcha. Um, going back to like getting on where the Death Wish even started, but like yeah, Leo. Are you friends with Leo? Uh, we've actually never met him in person. You need yet, him on. He's but I know we do. Yeah. So basically, we sent him a box of product like a year ago but he's and it's controversial with ruka right i don't think i think he's on ruka right I, I don't know Maybe he is oh, i'm so like i, I don't stopped. know like i haven't even opened a, a yeah. thrasher and i still haven't opened a thrasher since i've been like 
back like firing or whatever like for some reason i just don't want to be like the i don't want to look at anything or yeah uh-huh. be, i just want to like just live and do my thing like yeah whatever and yeah not, like um but yeah leo would be perfect for this yeah show, but so i don't it think seems he's awesome. anymore but we sent him a box and him daniel luther and Braden hoban were all together on a oh, road trip i'm friends with dan lu and okay. i seen him had a seager hat on yeah and some footage i was like that piece of shit <laughs> we, yeah we no, really been wanting awesome. to like, yeah i've heard nothing good and things just like do a trip with them and go camping somewhere so dude that's like our leo romero's awesome that's our human being crew right now that we're trying to support and yeah leo dan lu and who and Braden hoban have you heard of him oh my God. Yeah. yeah, he's probably the best skateboarder that's ever lived. Holy wow, shit. that's a big claim. I love that, dude. Yeah. No, that's so he just got some But I, I, I'm someone that's like, I could like. I mean, that's every valid. Coming from you. my favorite skateboarder, yeah. a nice person, but I haven't yeah. met him yet. But like, that's awesome I'm here. Fucking blown away at this dude's fucking. Could like, you pull him up? Damn, I want to watch some of this shit now. Unbelievable. I. I, if he doesn't get skate, you know what skate of the year is? Yeah. After, if he doesn't get skate of the year, it's rigged. It's bullshit. Wow. Like, damn. I guarantee he gets skate of the year. Holy Without, shit. Like, he, this dude is fucking unbelievable on a skateboard. All right, here we go. This is. Uh, so he's from Oceanside, isn't like, it? Like, whatever you're going to pull up, I haven't even seen. But, like, this so is a specific. Just for, I can. When was this from? December 2021. Okay, not too long ago. <laughs> here we go. I don't sick. even care what Toy this machine. Is. Yeah. The dude is yeah, he's the man. Fucked. And like, that's what Justin was saying. I don't know. I don't know anything about. Like, I don't know. I've never heard him speak. Never, like, I hope he's just. A, I think he's from Encinitas. I, I just assume he's. I think you're a, right. He's a positive dude. I bet. Yeah, he that's what we've heard. Be, dude, all all three of those guys are just so nice They're and so positive. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, Dan Lu's fucking. Yeah, I've there's. Oh my god, he just came from blunt into this bank. You fucking savage. Yeah, he's a savage. Oh, so gnarly. He, he's got like so many people are doing like the craziest shit like on Instagram, but like it's not it's going to sound like harsh to some people, but like what I call like real tricks. Like he does just those real tricks. Like, yeah. With Leo yeah. Dan Liu, but like kind of like more like zero misled youth type of world of like like I, not Do you mean like foot melon late hard foot late shevets? Those are all that's I really I respect it, but nothing more than like kind of like jump off a building if you jump off yeah. buildings an old toy machine video whatever it's like the first video I ever saw. But just like that that raw yeah. type of skating like and he's like this is like a real tech trick, but like it's still it's just it's a kickable front blunt that has a, a death factor that if he goes on to the other side. But like he's so oh so gnarly. Fuck that sounds so gnarly. Like he's doing the actual hard shit versus like what looks good in a clip on Instagram. I think he's, his it. natural, his yeah, it's all about trick, sele- trick yeah, selection, yeah. trick selection and style, and just like he's just mastered the kickflip. He is, and um, what what makes you say that? I guess you're kind of already saying it, but what, he, earlier you said he's like the best skateboarder on. I I I'm someone that just like I love skateboarding and just like I'll you could. I'll say it so, for so many people that, yeah, that dude's the best skateboarder in the world, but because lack of a better, like, term. But, yeah. Like, for real, he guaranteed has to get skate of the year. And, like, that's irrelevant. That's awesome. Really, but, like, yeah, the dude's it's just, just good to know. I hope to meet him and, like. I'm sure you will. I'm sure he's listening to this. I love watching, <laughs> like, I love watching the battle of something, too. Like, yeah, no that one, is cool. No one, no one shows that type of stuff. Like, just that kick from Blunt thrown into a part instead of seeing, like, the war he went through. Yeah. And, like, they had to bring fucking 10 sheets of... They had to go to Depot before. Yeah, yeah seriously. So they much really, went into that. They don't show enough of that shit, for sure. Just clips. Subscribe for more. Uh, yeah, I just found out he's from Encinitas, like, a couple weeks ago, and I was all, what? Where was I this entire I know, time? right? Fucking, I mean, he's pretty young, I'm, I'd assume. I think he's, like, 20, 21. So like he, I probably could have been in the same place of, as yeah. him, but then all of a sudden he had a growth spurt and fucking yeah, right. grew his hair out and exactly he's totally a whole new person or something. Yeah. I guess so. Uh, yeah, I hope to meet him. He's I'm just wow. a huge fan. That's sick. But yeah, you guys are probably thinking about starting a skate team. Like I don't know, are, we're that's like a solid three. I know they're that's so insane. Solid. They're they're like too solid. For yeah, that's the we're, problem. It's yeah, like, we don't know. We don't. Like, know. I don't know if Dan Lu's on Vans clothing. Or yeah, hot or whatever. Like. Or I don't know. I don't even care who like yeah, who right. people's sponsors are, but like, yeah, that's kind of yeah. that's kind of where we're at. Is as a brand is like we we have our surf team and they're all 
insanely talented and a lot of them are or all of them are all homies and a lot of them are from La Jolla where he's from and kind of grown up in that community and it's we our sponsors like our athletes I guess to say is it's a weird relationship where they're kind of just homies they'll come on trips it's not like a traditional like sign this contract now you're going to do this 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 and this and it's like transactional it's more of like joining the family kind of thing it's as cliche as that is it's you, about it right you can't there. stop looking at you you're a brand that like doing. you're a brand that, like, <laughs> or i can't tell you what your brand is yeah. but like you guys support rad sports exactly. and stuff, but it's like a, a, a western leaning brand mm-hmm. that like you didn't start out like oh ads and thrasher like i'm gonna just be sure. a supporting yeah. brand exactly whatever so that's like, that's why we're hesitant for skating to get into it is like, how do we do it authentically where it doesn't look like we're just we're a skate now. Well, that's you know also what I mean? what's so cool about Leo, Dan Liu, Brian Hogan. Leo's they your all, guy. They're all cowboy hats and rides mm, bikes. Yeah. But they all see Seeger and they He's see that guy. we're not super heavy into skate, but they still see like what they could be a part of it. So it's like it doesn't have to be like this full blown skate company. It doesn't have to be this full blown surf company. They could just be a part of something bigger. Yeah. 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 We don't necessarily have like I guess our our. Our bison pants, a lot of people are wearing those and Stop. saying they've been solid. It's just, just having like just a keeps staring at session me. now. I, I can't help it after what he said earlier. I just can't stop looking at you because, like, it's funny. Dude. I keep looking at when Every time your hair flops on, I, I, just, want party, I just want to party with uh, you. You're How making me crazy. want to do cocaine. Like, oh <laughs> Sorry, dude. I'll go tuck it in my hair. We all have these little idiosyncrasies <laughs> that you can't stop. I'm going to tuck it. I'm going to tuck it. No, no, don't. I'm going to look like a colonial no, man. No, I'm going to stop smiling. Funny. He's tucking his hair. <laughs> When I, uh, it's the funniest thing. Whenever I do, it's really rare that I do it, and I'm not ashamed to say it. But every once in a while, if it's hot, I'm just like doing shit, like packing or something annoying. You know, it's just hair is annoying in your face. I'll like put it in a little fucking bun thing, you know, and then throw a hat over it. And I swear to God, I look so colonial. Don't like I look like I'm wearing one of those like 1700s wigs. <laughs> it's so weird. I know Speaking of wigs, I seriously look like that. And I don't know if it's like my facial structure or, <laughs> or if it's like my type of hair or what. But oh, I got a dog fart. Did you? I've been oh, spilling yeah. the dog farts. I'll, I'll, I'm no, the no, only no, no, one. No, no. You're good. You're I, good. I don't, Did you still make that hat? Yeah. What am I wearing? Uh, I don't know if we have any left. Oh, fuck. Yeah. You, you want this we one? Might, we still we might. You can have this one. Too. I don't give a fuck. But I got we make a million too. fucking hats, dude. I got nothing but hats. I got another question. We've been jumping around a lot. I know that. So we could. I want to touch on so many different things. But I know that you were. Uh, early owner of St. Archer or investor, yeah, investor, yeah. Um, I'd love to hear about that, like what that process Fuck, was like. That was like, how long ago like was that? Lucky fucking spot, whatever. Like, um, me and Reynolds went up to, um, um, P- you know, P- Paul Rodriguez, is, mm-hmm. Paul Rodriguez. We went up to skate Paul Rodriguez's park one day, me, him, to meet up with Paul, and um, and um. It happened to be the same day the dude was like i think mikey taylor mikey taylor was there and he grew up he grew up with the uh, like the it was mikey taylor and the this dude josh that was like starting um saint archer or whatever gotcha. like had the idea and they were meeting with paul that day to like invest or whatever and reynolds doesn't drink and i remember just being in the room like overhearing what was going on i was like um that sounds sick I, I don't know if they asked me or I forget if I can't be. I don't know if they asked. I don't. I'm sure I'm not like. I wasn't like. Can I invest? I, yeah, yeah, right. It just naturally like, kind of happened. Like, hey, I'd love to be a part of this or something. Yeah. Like, I drink alcohol, whatever. And it was just like a rare, lucky spot that you I was just in. There, fucking destiny. Yeah, and like I was, I'm the lowest person that was even with the amount I put in, and like. If we, if there's like a scale of people that are yeah. involved, like from legends, I was like, I'm looking up at fucking these humans. You know what I mean? Like, are you able to share how much you put in? Or is that like five hundred million? You had to keep like invest. You had it was like you, you know, kept putting money in. Yeah, you had to okay. keep because it was growing so fast that yeah. it, it, it like boomed. It diluted, diluted, and yeah. it didn't keep fucking matching your fucking investment. Yeah. It was what year was that? Did you keep matching it? Yeah, you yeah, kept going. Yeah, but like. Like was it like five thousand? Hey, fucking! It... I forgot they're fucking gone. You know it's yeah, yeah. I know. Evaporated, yeah, right? that's they're... the elephant in the room right they're... now, isn't it? Dude, crazy. They were Who huge. The fuck? What were they thinking in the first place? Like it's like say someone bought 
you bought a distribution, kicked off all the riders, and thought you were gonna fucking kill yeah. it. That's I know like, you're crazy. I know if you don't if you're not buying the whole brand with the people. I yeah. know. So they I thought know. it was gonna. How much did it sell for in the first? I think it was like a billion dollars or something. Was Saint Archie? I'm just oh, throwing that fuck. out. We could, so that yeah, Can you look that up? So we could probably look that up. We could probably look that up. Do you know when was that, by the way, when you were at the skate park and stuff and it was just getting going? Like, Dude, I don't know what to fucking happen. 2000? <laughs> I feel you. I, I, I watched don't even it. I not weed anymore and I just like. So, over, I know that Wait, I might 35. not remember the exact amounts, but like just a range. Like, was, was it like, so oh, you have to put in $5,000 right now and then a year later, like, hey, we need another 5000 It oh. was like increments of like 50. Okay. It was only 35 million. No, 100 million. So, Wait, you, put in, you put in like a decent chunk then. Like in my scope of money, it was yeah. like like a hundred thousand dollars is basically a million. And yeah, it's a yeah, some people like a million is like a hundred thousand in the in the scope of like what yeah. they got. But like, well, hopefully it turned into fucking, a you know Brian Herman is. I don't know Brian, Brian Herman. No, oh he's he's like amazing, oh, so it sold for hundred legendary though. fucking I think thirty five whatever. But I remember like that all the investment investments rounds were like done, and I remember yeah. like asking Josh like. Um, if, if my friend could invest and he's like way like I don't think of myself as famous but he's like a famous fucking amazing cleanest style skater or whatever and I remember ask, without even asking Herman fucking um, if uh, I was like hey can, can I hit up my friend to see if he can invest like I know it's closed or whatever and then and Herman had way more money and I literally made him or I didn't Millionaire? do anything. Yeah, I made him a mil- like. Damn. He would, he's even said it on other. He's actually been on a podcast saying yeah. like I owe everything to Brian because holy shit. That's awesome. Because he probably put in like two fifty or five or yeah. closer to that amount. Yeah. Which fucking no, I think it was obviously five. And he only made five. But that's not possible. But like, he probably only he probably put in two fifty or something, and that turned into one point something or yeah. damn yeah. Like that. And well, that's awesome. That's awesome. That. You were a part of that too. That's my favorite thing about the whole thing. It's like maybe I did something, like I didn't even. I just wanted to be a part of it. I don't. I I wasn't even thinking about money the whole time. I was just like, oh. There were so many people. They sold. Were you just like, what the fuck? Um, There were so many. Taylor Knox, like, dude, that dude's the Mm -hmm. coolest dude ever. Like, you guys probably. He's legendary. I I don't. I mean, we don't like know him, but oh, know of him, obviously. Yeah, it's fucking awesome. That dude's just a banshee of a human. But um, a fucking banshee. I haven't heard that. Do you know? uh, Do you know Adam Warren? Mm. He was like the like head of marketing for St. Archer. Did he come from Rain? Uh, I That's think he came from Brixton. Question. He was at Brixton. Yeah, you're right. He did. I don't know. When did he get in they there? Were, oh, so, oh so they don't exist anymore. Like the dude Josh was kind of like he's super rad dude, but like he was super cutthroat. Like mm-hmm. went through so many different brewer, brewers and stuff. And like I think like the like. Um, the mindset was just getting it get out. I think the whole time, whatever, and which is if your heart's not in it, like maybe you're gonna get rich quick. But like, I think long term is the way to go. Yeah, something like that. Like, none of them. Everyone drinks beer, and that was their only connection to with beer. Yeah, you drink it. Yeah, it whatever. probably could have been then, bigger if he, they kept it going. And he, I think he was like an age. Like he did everything completely right. Maybe I'm, but I don't. Even, I'm not saying anything bad. The dude, yeah, the, no. the dude's the shit, and I was fortunate to be involved in it. But yeah. like, have you heard of Booze Bros? I don't think I have. I don't no. think so. This rad brewery down in. Um, there's so many breweries down. There's in so here. many. I know. But this one stands stands apart. To Where me is it? Because it's in business parks. They're all in business parks. Yeah. Fucking, but <laughs> like, I I grew up with these guys, and they like, um. Like Leo's played a bunch of shows at their brewery. They have a lot of like connection with skating and stuff. Oh, so, um, I might. Is this Justin? Didn't Justin buy some of these beers? Or am I tripping? No, that's not the one that has like. Nah, I'm probably tripping. It's ama- different. Amazing branding, amazing, amazing everything uh, and like stuff, and just it's people that legitimately care about brewing beer. Like, yeah, I remember going yeah. to their house growing up, and they had three it turned like one fermenter turned into another to another to where they had like four fridges with taps coming out the fridges so Damn. i watched this grow from a garage into Damn. like a brand that like like i don't know if the sick branding too it's yeah they're they're amazing oh you're like, thinking of black plague yeah i'm thinking of black yeah. plague Tony all, Hawk. yeah one i don't know why i went there with my brain but that that's cool and th- i mean that's what san diego is definitely either the or one of the hubs but oh they have three it's good for them it's cool to see the craftsmanship that goes into it, and the brewery thing's cool because 
everyone has their own unique little spin on it. It's kind of the same thing, right? You're just selling beer and you're yeah. hanging out and there's like games it's, or something. It takes you to, to get the glass in the person's hand. It's fucking two cents for you, for the brewery. I know. Seriously. Yeah. And then the you're selling that for seven, eight bucks. It's, yeah. It's like, and then you, food. If you and suck at that, you're fucking crazy. Yeah. yeah. You're crazy. But like these dudes really care and they're just, it's That's a cool. family. It's like a whole family involved that like is making, I feel like, the more love that's in something, it really shows. Yeah, and it and keeps it going longer. It's stronger. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm glad I got to mention them, even though it wasn't – it just naturally Yeah, shout out. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm curious. We have about 15 minutes left, and is there anything you wanted to, like, bring up or talk about? Yeah. My first thing that came to my head is yeah. just, like, I wanted to just say something, like, I wasn't, wasn't going to talk about myself. I would just, like, maybe no one sees this podcast, but I just – want people to just be nice and kind to each other and know that I think smiling's free and and just try to be a positive outlook for people that you're around and just I know it's hard everyone going through their own things and stuff but um I'm just focusing on being a better person for the people I'm around and just hope that shows through and yeah um that's that's what my mind immediately thought yeah of. like cool yeah, yeah I should have been like I don't know what I'm supposed to say. Yeah, I that's a great message, it. honestly. I definitely yeah. like and you that. You seem like a very like straightforward, like you just say what's on your mind kind of guy, too. Yeah, there's no because you can tell when someone's like skipping through yeah. to the mm-hmm. thing that they want to say. But, like, I don't know what you would were expecting me to say, but definitely wasn't that for sure. But like, oh, that's good. I'm, I'm just, glad you said um, that. Yeah, my point or my point in the question is like, hey, maybe you want to tell a story about something, or you want to like shout out another person. Because when I thought of it, the reason why I thought of it is because you said I'm I'm glad I got to say something about the Bruce Bros because they're good guys. Maybe there's another person that you want to say something cool about, or I don't know. It's that's just like naturally. I can't. I like. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah, that just like naturally happens. For sure. Because like I'm like big fan of their like style of like yeah. how they like run a brewery, and I just feel like. I brought them up because I feel like St. Archer, if St. Archer used that model, could have turned into an actual billion dollar. Oh yeah, yeah seriously. Yeah. Instead of just like <coughs> making everyone rich real quick and yeah, it was an amazing ride and stuff, and very fortunate to be involved. And it's grown into something else. Like um, it grew into like Ashland. Have you heard of? Yeah, oh, yeah. So village. So we started doing a coconut water village, called yeah. Villager. Oh, yeah. you're a part of that? Yeah. Oh, shit. And that grew into Ashland Umbrella, whatever, and stuff. So, like... And then, like, Villager Spirits like, now? Like it's, it's still, like, going and stuff. So, it's, like, it's... It's... Yeah. It seems to be doing well, honestly. I see it a lot. Yeah, I do, too. Um, That's amazing. So, yeah, I know we're not far from it. It's San Diego, right? I'm assuming? Yeah. yeah I, but they're I, bigger than that. I haven't even... Yeah. I haven't even... I, like, since I went in... I call it my Great Depression or whatever. Like, <laughs> I stopped, like, following anything because I thought I, like, burned all bridges. But... Um. Yeah, they it's they cool. kill it with the branding and everything. Yeah. But, um, Don't they have like the Bellinger bomb or something like that? That's Ashland. Yeah. Wait, that's the. This, uh, this is Villager this Spirits. Is Villager. This is hard alcohol. Oh yeah, but Ashland's also part of this. Ashland's a seltzer. Pr- right. Two different brands, probably underneath the same umbrella. Gotcha. I'm assuming. Dude, I hope I'm saying the right. No, you are for sure. <laughs> I think it's, all, it's yeah. Villager water Dude, turned into like, Ashland Hard Seltzer turned into Villager Spirits, and they're all Villager yeah. water's gone, right? Yeah, I think but Villager Spirits and Ashland are still there. Yeah. Gotcha. Like if Kostin didn't show up on the screen right there, I'd have been like, "Fuck," because <laughs> I, I have no idea what's going on. Like I kind of was just like, "Fuck, this whole world is fucking rainbow like, sherbet." I was already like quarantining way before COVID. <laughs> Literally, I was like, "That's like, hilarious." A pandemic going on. I have no idea. You're warming yeah. up for the actual <laughs> I COVID. TV, That's I don't watch TV. I don't. I didn't look at Instagram for like two what you, years. What do you do? Well, to cl- pass clearly, you do now. Now I'm just like, oh, look at this tree. <laughs> I have no, I'm so loose with my Instagram. Just like could care less or whatever. Okay. That's the good way. Like, I don't, like I know how, you, how like I don't, you'll never, I never like Instagram when I have like, I don't know, like I, like an out, like how I normally would dress like I was going out or something. Mm. I never am Instagramming that yeah. kind of person. It just looks like this guy has gear crisis fucking 24 <laughs> seven pretty much. I feel that. And yeah, I just, I just have zero fucks what fucking people perceive me as, and just like pretty much. That's yeah. the healthiest way to do it. I yeah. can't. It sounds like a mental disorder to like care had, about. I that. had like a cool like like raceway hat, like neon orange raceway hat. Uh-huh. I chose this hat because I don't know if this will be like I'm not even a part of this company. Spreading the message. Hum- like, I mean, I'm, I'm down I, for that message for sure. It's 
you yeah. can't talk shit on this hat. Yeah, this is always uh, cool. Yeah. Maybe. yeah, like I feel like it'd be sick if you guys did a collab with this company. I think it's from Encinitas, and they like. What is that company? What's yeah. the brand? It's called Kind Humans. Kind Humans. What do they do? Are they sell they kind bars. I'm being kind as fuck. Yeah, right. It's free hugs and <laughs> shit. It's spreading uh, no, free like, hugs. So literally, I got it was like an ins. I never ever bite on like an Instagram ad yeah. or whatever, or whatever. And oh, there's the hat. An ad came up, and I was all, "That's the sickest hat I've ever seen." Yeah. Just like I don't Nailed know, full it. message, and went on the site, whatever, and like bought a hat, and like you can choose where I think water to people that don't have water or homes or like uh, something where? like some of your money goes like oh, you know like whatever. Yeah. So that, that's like a no brainer. That's cool. Um, to be a part of it and I mean or to like donate towards something like that or whatever but I yeah. get so many compliments on this hat just because like can't like no one's like shitty sure. hat bro yeah, shitty hat. Be, yeah I would be but pretty cynical I'm a big fan of this brand cool. with, their, with their messages and yeah. what they're doing and stuff but kind of humans like yeah I could have came in with like my cowboy hat on or fucking like for sure I almost was like fuck it I'll just wear my Lululemon shorts in here and just like freeze the, yeah, I know it's cold, isn't it? We've had it before though. We're hot as shit, so yeah, it's better it cold sense. than hot. Honestly, it's one or the other in here. We don't no, believe in fucking, normal temp. Like I, try, I was thinking, like when I was talking to someone being on the show, I was like, oh, I'm nervous to be on the show, and then I'm, but I'm actually not because yeah. I have zero fucks. It's just yeah. I don't know anyone. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. Coming to and a you're, bunch of strangers, you're, you're hard to look at because you're fucking the like, fucking like, flops, <laughs> dude. And now you got me <laughs> worrying about it. Dude. You're you're gonna gonna go home. Home. No, I'm gonna be in the mirror all night, just like fuck. Where do you guys go out in San Clemente? Honestly, I feel like we haven't really just well with COVID. Like I feel like we haven't like fucking. There's a lot of good like local bars and stuff. I've been to all like the pool hall bar. Yeah, forget the name. Yeah. Yeah. Dailies is I fun. We Mulligans. Yeah, well, Mulligans is sick. Lot Goodies of is fun. That have been popping up. Yeah. Los Molinos. Yeah, shout but, out. But you don't Landers. Drink. What? You don't drink anymore. I know, right? No, but I'll, I, I can, I still go out and I'll get, it's so dumb, but I'll, I'll get any, like, I literally didn't start drinking, like, even being a part of St. Archer, I was never been a heavy beer drinker. I'm just like whiskey straight type person, like, uh, like a cowboy when I grow up. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. I roll my own cigs, whatever, but. I didn't start drinking beer until I got sober, whatever. Cause in the sense of just like you need some. That's there's no NA whiskey. Yeah, yeah. 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 Fuck with that. Yeah, whatever. But they're making those things though. What? I went, I went to oh Bevmo, fuck! I did try one. Bevmo because I googled it and yeah. I read the back of the label and it's like it was gnarly. Burnt oak. Okay. Yeah. Because you can't make whiskey without the alcohol. Right. So it's I've tried one. Mother, like the bite is. I, I should have gotten mm. to try it, but like. I only like whiskey because the bite. Yeah, the bite. I tried one, alternate one, to be honest, and I'm not going to say the brand name, but it was pretty fucking nasty, to be honest. Okay, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I love whiskey so much. Like, I'd rather just have like a kombucha or something. What's your I'm... favorite whiskey? Yeah, that's what I left in the parking lot on the ground. Kombucha is sick. On the ground? Yeah, because, well, I'm always juggling. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, favorite whiskey? Oh, man. You guys bullet. have one? Now I'm thinking. Bull- oh, yeah. I, I always bullet. drink bullet. Fuck, now you got me thinking. I, I like wild turkey. Damn. Yeah. I would have never guessed that. I just, you know. Yeah, I'm f- such a Bullet fan. Bullet's yeah. fucking good. Bullet's just sure. like the go-to. Yeah. You got me thinking. I like High West. Oh. I like High West. Oh, so. fuck, yeah. yes. Is that the tall like yeah. or wine bottle kind of looking like thing? Or- yeah, I love that one. Oh, you know what? That's my what, favorite Woodford, for sure. Woodford Reserve is probably one of my favorites. Yeah, Woodford Reserve is so dope. Many, there's Easy so many drink. good ones. Like, I know. We're saying ones that are like, there's so many. There's so many niche ones. I think whiskey. Whoa. This is Geezer's first time <laughs> like that? waking up this entire podcast. What are you doing, Geezer? <laughs> <That's crazy. laughs> That's awesome. Is Geezer in frame? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> I don't that's know awesome. Um, fuck. I don't know. My whiskey. I'll probably High West is oh, my go-to. Um, but some of those like nicer whiskeys, like the Japanese ones, like... Suntory. Oh, Hibiki or something. Yeah, yeah. Like, um, that shit's good in their own way. Oh, oh they're good though. Yeah. Oh. oh, you're just waking up. Yeah, that stuff's good. I definitely like they all taste a little different. I mean, it took me forever, but I finally, finally got a taste for uh, like Scotch, Irish whiskey and stuff. I forever I hated Jameson that. and stuff. I love Jameson that's the, and stuff. Yeah, that's the Budweiser. Of, exactly. Of Bud, well, it's like, still really good. I don't. I had. I drank so much Jameson, I couldn't even. It started like. Turning into a different flavor, whatever. Like this sounds weird, but like Jack Daniels started tasting like banana to me. Whoa! Oh, yeah. I don't understand it's like that. that. It's like the sunscreen taste, kind of. It's. I oh, was it like, does. I can't yeah. drink. 
Oh, that's Malibu, but bro. I, I would Jim Beam. Like, Jim Beam never fails. Oh kind yeah, of, that's like just one classic. That's got that just cheap bite. Whatever. Oh man, like, you ever had Evan Williamson? I think it's oh, I, yeah, I, that's ass. like super like run into the with, like Jack. I used to that was my shit. Yeah, like, that was our prog shit, wasn't it? No, no, I had that. They make plastic bits. Year. You know, you're not doing. Yeah. I know. Great. And you're I in know. the wrong aisle. Yeah, in the wrong aisle. That's college for you. That age. Yeah, that's fucked. But uh, yeah, that's not my favorite. Yeah, <laughs> I don't like scotch. You, I know most people don't. Okay. Not most people. A lot of people don't I like American whiskey. Like yeah. Canadian whiskey is lame too. No offense, everyone. But Whoa! Yeah. Wow! Uh, just calling well, just, out just, two countries. Just, <laughs> this guy two comes full out of nowhere. countries. It's just two full I'm like, flags. Yeah. What about Japanese, Japanese whiskey? whiskey? It's all right. All right. I like American whiskey. All right. Stick into my. Well, country. now we know. Yeah. I can't think cool. of it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who else makes whiskey. Honestly, yeah. I feel like in Europe they just do wine. They don't give a fuck. They just go straight to the grapes. There's like fuck it. Scotch. There's eight hundred year old trees, vines. You know what I mean? They don't yeah. even fuck around. We need to get a Polaroid of you before you get out of here. Oh, yeah. yeah. We have a yeah. Polaroid wall. Just what? Yeah, let's do it. Can you imagine if we took a photo of you and it was there was no nothing in it? Like Isn't that like a vampire thing? <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Was, Can't they not I be in photos? That's what that wall was, but I was like... It's all the guests that we've had. Yeah. Was there a Nikki up there? No, uh, she, that was the, the was fireside pre, one. That was pre-Polaroids, too. Yeah. Dude, how cool is she? She's so cool. She's so rad. Yeah. Wow. Badass chick. Another shout out. She's the best. She might be the only girl we've ever had on the podcast. So far. So far. Yeah. yeah. We right? Got a, yeah. That's we got so crazy. Yeah. We need more more girls. <laughs> we a girl surfer or something. I know. Yeah. That's a great call. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to get some more on here. Yeah. Yeah. Only be, girls from here on out. In, like Grace and Fletcher or anything? I'm not friends, no. with, friends with him. No. Okay. No. He'd be no. sick to get on here. Yeah. That would be sick if you're listening. If you could wrangle him down. Yeah. yeah. That'd be sick. Yeah. If you have down. Friends that you think would be cool to be on Leo, yeah, yeah we gotta get Leo. Leo. Getting, Come on, Leo. Leo and Dan Lou and Brayden all on here would be awesome. Yeah, we got it. Uh, that would be, yeah, just all three of them lined up right here. <laughs> That'd be sick. I, I don't know. Speed dating. How time. how well do you know Leo? Or from we've like, never met in person. Yeah, so we've just, just been talking it's over just like, like free free stuff, cell phone and Instagram, yeah. and just like yeah. let's connect. But he's so nice. We're both everywhere, so. It is pretty hard. Like old me, like I'm not doing your fucking random podcast. Yeah, fuck yeah. that. Yeah. But I'm just like say yes to fucking everything. Just like, just see where it leads. You know yeah, what I mean? Like for see what sure. happens. And like, but I do think the brand's fucking bitching. Like you Thank guys got a red thing very going. Much. Fucking in like my favorite city, I, which I didn't know where it was. I didn't yeah. know where it was from until I yeah. like saw that the other for day sure. or whatever. Next, literally, San Clemente is probably one of my favorite skate parks in the world because it's just like. So nope, you know what noping is. You know the word noping. Like there's no no coping. coping. Like, yeah, oh yeah. Fucking, and yeah, just or that aside. Fucking yeah. the name solid. Every single thing I've seen on the site, even if I like, I love fashion and clothes and stuff. Like I can't say a bad thing about a single item of apparel. Thank just, you very like, much. Thanks, man. Yeah, and thank you for coming. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, thanks for having me. Um, it was a lot. Yeah, yeah, I know it was like up and down, and probably you guys don't. That's good. That makes it interesting. Oh, yeah, I feel like we got yeah. to know you quick. Like, it's only been one hour and 12 minutes or something, but I feel like you've been so open that we've been able to get to know you quickly, which is awesome. I think it's a good trait to have. With a smiley-ass face over here, my flappy-ass hair. <laughs> no, you always look like you're about to smile, whatever. Like you're holding, you're hold, you're <laughs> holding, holding it in. Some, something back. <laughs> That's a huge compliment, dude. <laughs> I don't even. I, I'm going to watch this back and I just know. Like, stare at Analyzing your face. Back. Uh, just yeah, stare yourself right. in the mirror so for right. a while. He's got the smiley thing. He's got the hair thing. You got to give me something. Yeah, he needs something. Yeah, what does he got? <laughs> he needs no, something. You're, far, you're the farmer. <laughs> yeah, he's the farmer. <laughs> no, the overalls just immediately make. Put, I, just yeah, I know. Deer, fucking. Yeah. With, um, I kind of forgot that we were having like. I, I can't believe you guys haven't done overalls yet. But I, know. I guess that's We've that's a hard thing it. to sell. Though. It's hard. Yeah. It is kind of like. We've toyed with it for a while. I think we will probably do that. It's a niche product. Yeah, but I wanted to say too before we end. That we still, I want to bring it up that we want you on the team, baseball. He's the coach, so I can't say for sure, but Wednesday nights. Is it every Wednesday? Slow every pitch. Wednesday. Well, yeah. Oh, fuck. I think we're only like, what, halfway through the season? So you guys played last night, played Last night, yeah, we Dude, won. I wish this podcast was on a fucking I know, Tuesday. I know, like, yeah. I have gloves, pants, cleats in the car. Damn. Wow. Uh, You're I'm just on. ready to fucking go. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> That's I'm ready. awesome. Yeah, Dude, I'm ready. If, if you really wanted to play, they'd do a co-ed night tonight, and you could probably just walk up and ask people if they needed a player. That's true. 
just that gung ho. Just yeah, fucking yeah. I don't know. It sounds like it. Where are you from? Oh, I'm from Fallbrook. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, yeah. What are you doing here? Yeah. Uh, no, I've been in LA so long that I'm hyped to go see some my friends down in like Oceanside tonight and go Sick. to dinner with some people. Sick. But like, fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, Wednesdays will hit you up. Today, I'd be like, see you tomorrow. Yeah. Fuck yeah, yeah, we'll hit you up then. For real, I'm down. Hell yeah, for real. Sick. Thanks again for coming. Yeah. Awesome to get to know you better. Yeah. <laughs> there we go.